in. Now, for this week's video, I have another cake topper tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute teddy bear that you can add onto the top of your cakes. Now, don't forget if you want to see more videos like this and you haven't already, you can subscribe to the Cakes by Lens YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and next to the subscribe button, and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Okay, let's get started. So the things that you're going to need in order to make your bear is first of all I've got my modelling paste. Now this is just a mixture of fondant and gum paste. So I'm using 85 grams of white fondant and I've got 35 grams of gum paste or in this case I'm using the Squires floral paste. I'm going to mix those two together. Now if you don't have any gum paste you could add a small amount of Tylo powder into your fondant. This is just going to help firm up your fondant and just allow it to dry a little bit quicker so that our model will keep its shape. Once they're mixed together I'm going to be using some of the Wilton Ivory food gel. To this I'm going to add a small amount of dark brown and also a tiny hint of pink just to warm up the colour slightly and mix all of those colours through. So that's given me the main colour for the body of my bear. I've then got two smaller pieces of fondant. So this is just an ivory and I've just mixed a small amount of ivory with a dark brown. I've then got a small ball of black and white and also a small amount of blue. Now this is going to be for a bow on the bear so you can make this blue, pink or whatever colour you like. I've also got a small pair of scissors, my rolling pin, some paint brushes, my edible glue, some modelling tools so I've got my ball tool and my dresden tool, my craft knife, a piece of a skewer which I've just cut down to two and a half inches. I've got a round circle cutter and this one measures just under a centimetre. I've then got some edible tints. So I've got a chocolate, a dusky pink and a cream. And you might want to use just a small polystyrene dummy cake for when we're modelling part of our bear. So I've taken some of that teddy bear brown that we created and this ball weighs 50 grams. Rolling that into a ball, getting rid of as many of those marks as we can. Now with this bear you have the option, you can keep it nice and smooth or I'm going to show you how you can make it look like he's covered in fur. So once we've got our ball I'm going to slightly flatten that down just making it an oval shape. I'm just gonna push down on that front and this is where his nose is gonna go. Use my little finger to go in, just marking where the bottom of his face is gonna be. I've then got a small ball of the ivory that we mixed with the dark brown and this ball measures around a centimeter in diameter. Push that down, again creating an oval shape. Pinch that edge so that it will sit flush on our bear's face. Now on the bottom, I'm just gonna flatten that down so that's where his mouth's gonna go, just so it's slightly raised at the top. I've then got a small amount of edible glue just on that front area and stick that on. Take my dressing tool and from the top, just pop a line down from where his nose is gonna go. And just at the bottom, just create a little grin now on each side, so just coming up a few millimetres, I'm also going to add two ovals and this is where his eyes are going to go. I've then got a small amount of black, so this one just measures around three to four millimetres across and I'm going to roll that into a ball and flatten that slightly and I can then stick that on the front of his face. Now, before I add in his eyes, I'm going to add the fur. Now, if you wanted to keep him quite smooth, you could leave him like this and just add a small line at the top just to make a little crease. Now, what I'm going to do is take my small scissors and my dresden tool and just working in small areas at a time, I'm going to take my scissors and just slightly chop in to that modelling paste. And I want to make sure my scissors are going in different directions. So not cutting any of that modeling paste off, just cutting in to give us some fur, working around that nose piece and around his eyes. Now I'm gonna do small pieces at a time. So once I've done this small area, I'm gonna take my dresden tool and just work that over the top, just going in circular motions across those little cuts, just to get rid of any of those sharp edges and also just make it look like fur going in different directions. So I'm going to work all the way over 
his face. Now, this can be a little bit time consuming, but it does give a great effect if you want your bear to look nice and fluffy. When you've done the front, I don't want to squish that down in order to do the back. So I'm going to bring in a polystyrene dummy and I've got my small piece of skewer. Now I'm going to push the skewer into the bottom of my bear's head and then just push that into my dummy. And this is going to allow me to work on the back. Once his whole head has this fur added, now you can leave it on the dummy cake to work on it so you don't flatten the back, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna take that off and just place that down. So the first thing I want to do is just open those eye sockets up and on the top, we lost that little line. Place in just a little crease mark. In order to make his eyes, I've got a very small amount of black and I'm gonna chop that in half so I get two identical size pieces and just flatten them into a slight oval shape. Using a small amount of edible glue, I'm gonna pop that in those two holes that we made. To bring my characters to life, I like to add a really tiny ball of white just into the center of their eyes. Now the next thing to do is to give him some ears. So I've got a piece of my modeling paste, the same color as his head. And this one measures around a centimeter in diameter. Squidge this down slightly. Take my large bottle, push that in the center, cut that in half. And this is gonna give me his two ears. On the side of his head, I'm gonna take a small amount of my edible glue those on each side. Now we need to make these look furry so they match his face. So first of all, I'm gonna take my Dresden tool and just where the ears join, just use that just to push them against the head. I can then do exactly the same as I did on his face. So I'm gonna take my scissors, cut into those ears, leaving the inside quite smooth. So we're just going around the outside, trying to carefully not push too hard on his face so I don't squish down too much of his fur. Now, before I leave his face to one side to dry whilst we work on his body, I've got some dusky pink edible tint and I've got a small little fluffy brush. Add this onto the side of his face just to create some little rosy cheeks. And I'm also gonna go inside his ears and along this top crease, I've got some cream and we're just gonna run that along there. On the front of his face, I'm gonna mix some of that cream with a little bit of brown, just to highlight that little mark that we added. So there we've got the star of our bear. Now I'm gonna leave this to one side. I've got the hole in the bottom, so we're gonna be able to add this onto the body. For his body, I've got a larger ball of the same color that I made his head, and this is 35 grams. I've then got two balls which are five grams each, and these are for his legs, and then two slightly smaller balls, and these are two grams each for his arms. For his body, I'm gonna roll that larger piece into a ball. And if you are keeping it quite smooth, you wanna do the same as you did with the head and just make sure all of those marks are out. Taper it down slightly between the palm of my hands to give me a slight cone shape and then push that on my work surface. Now, if you're finding that the bottom is sticking, you can pop down a small amount of corn flour now for his body, I wanna keep it quite wide at the bottom and just coming up into this slight curve. So we don't want it too pointed at the top. On the front, I'm gonna put a dip in just so it looks like he's sitting. And again, if you're keeping it quite smooth, you wanna run a line up the center just to match the one that we added on the top of his head. So that this matches the furry head that I've created, I'm gonna do exactly the same as I did with the head. Go all the way around just adding in that fur. But once his body has been covered all the way around, I'm gonna make sure I've got those slight marks just in the front. I'm then gonna take the skewer, push the end of that into some edible glue. Push this all the way down 
into the body. And you wanna make sure at this stage that if you bring your head back in, it's not gonna be coming out of the top. The next thing to do is to create some little feet, starting with one of the larger balls, halfway down, roll on that, keeping it wider on one end so I can then taper down this end. On my work surface, I'm gonna push at the bottom and this is gonna give us his foot. At an angle, chop the top off so this can fit just at the front of his body. Before I join that, I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side. Now I'm gonna cut this one opposite way, take in some edible glue on the side, push those into place. And you wanna use your dressing tool. I'm gonna to really push that against his body, just making sure that that's connected on both sides. Now on the front, where it joins his body, I'm gonna put a crease. So just pushing my dressing tool in. Again, we wanna make this look like it's covered in fur, so I'm gonna do exactly the same. Cutting into that modeling paste. I'm gonna leave the front part of his feet quite smooth, and I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Now I'm gonna take the light ivory color that we had. I can then use my circle cutter. Now if you don't have a circle cutter, you can just make a small ball and just flatten that out. I've rolled it so it's around a millimeter in thickness. Stick this on the front of his feet. I want it to look like it's been stitched. Push in some little lines. The next thing to do is work on his arms. So I've got the two slightly smaller balls and I'm just gonna taper these down. So just pushing in my finger, just on one side, which just creates this small curve. So leaving one end slightly thicker and I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Now I want to stick these against the side of my bear. So they start from where his shoulders would be and just come round to lean on his legs. Use my dressing tool, push on the edge of that arm where it joins the body. And we wanna create a small crease. Coming up from the bottom, I'm gonna push in and just bend that arm round. I can then do exactly the same to the other side. Now again, I'm doing exactly the same thing as I did with the rest of his body, just going in and adding in some fur. Now you don't wanna take the crease away, so I'm just adding in around that and I'm going to do the same to the other side. So once we've got his body I'm going to add a little bow onto the side. So I'm going to roll this out and this is just a piece of gum paste or the floral paste on its own just so the bow will keep its shape. So you want to roll this out until it's around a millimeter in thickness and I'm going to cut out two pieces. One strip around a centimeter in width and it's around four centimeters in length and also a smaller piece, around two centimeters in length. I wanna bring the two ends into the middle, add a small amount of edible glue, pick that up, and I just wanna scrunch that middle together. I want the bow to hang down slightly, so I'm just gonna pull those two pieces around, take the smaller piece, fold over one edge, bring that back on itself, and just wrap that over trimming off the excess and just pull that into the back. So it's gonna give us this tiny little bow. So I'm gonna have this on the side there. So we want to make sure we're not covering the flat area that we left at the top, which is gonna join up with his head. Now to finish off his body, I just wanna add a small amount of shadow. Now I'm gonna start with my pink and just on the front of his feet, add a little bit of pink and then take some of that cream and just run it up the center where we added that little line. And I'm gonna mix some of that cream with my brown. Where we put in those folds, the side of his arms and just on his legs. Also, you can go just under the palm of his hands. So it looks like a little bit of shadow where his arms are resting. So there we've got his body and his head. Now, one thing when you're creating characters, especially when the head is quite large, is you don't want to put it onto the body too soon so that it squashes down that modeling paste. So I've left my two pieces for around an hour so they're firm to the touch. Take some edible glue and just paint that on the stick and just around where his neck would be. And then take the head, slide that on. 
So here we have the finished furry teddy bear cake topper, which you can now use to decorate the top of your cakes. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will find it useful if you want to make your own teddy bears. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time I upload a new video. So until next time, bye!